Okay, we don't need to see this again. I just recorded this. There we go. All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Indivisible. It is... It's actually a really interesting game. I don't know too much about it just because... Uh, I wouldn't exactly say prior research. It... This is one of those games that I've actually played before in short bursts-ish. But I believe it's by the people that made Skullgirls. In fact, I absolutely know it's made by the people that made Skullgirls. Where... Hence I, all the really nice animation. Yeah. Uh, so Skullgirls was a really nicely hand animated Son of a butt. All right, there we go. Uh, it was a nicely hand animated fighting game that was absolutely amazing. But, you know, honestly, fighting games kind of only take you so far. And I think they had some really big issues with, like, either their publisher or something. So, like, money was super tight. And so they decided to run a Kickstarter on Indivisible, which is kind of a... It's not a turn-based J... It's weird. It's really cool. You'll see how the combat goes, but it's an RPG. I'm going to keep skipping this intro because I've already I've already got it recorded. Um, but it, it really wants me to show it, but I can't press any button because it immediately drops us in the game. Uh, but they ran it on Kickstarter, and then, like, I want to say, like, a couple months later, I got an email from their PR team being like, here's the Kickstarter demo, and I'm like, I didn't kickstart this. And they're like, yeah, this, that's fine. Cool. And then every single convention I've been at, they've been like, check out our progress. And I've been like, sweet. This looks rad. And it is rad. And I, you'll have to see as we go along. But this is one of those games that I've been very excited about all year. And it's finally here. Also, Shell's here. Hello. Now let's go, Rosie! Oh, this looks like a TV show. <laughs> but it's a tutorial. Okay, so you're just gonna have to kind of... They're fighting against the Unknown Club? They are. Oh boy, and it is beef chunks. And A ow. Sutra of Pain. Yeah, so... Wait, that actually looks like the protagonist's mother. Maybe. It does. She looks very familiar. Why do they... I don't know if they have a team healer. So, they're mentioning the Karma Sutra, or Kama Sutra, or Sutras. They're... Why did I think of it? Kama 
Sutra. Oh, that's, that's the only thing I know of when it comes to something incorporating the word Sutra. Uh, but then, she, the main protagonist also had this little creature called Roti, and Roti is a type of bread in India, right? Wander? Uh, yeah, it's a type of flatbread. Mm -hmm. He got wrecked. So I like the influence. Ah! Oh. She's shielding that guy, but is... Oh! There's like the chakra. Sixteen years later. <laughs> it looks like a little taper. It looks like it does look like a fat little huffing taper. Good morning, Roti. <laughs> What a lovely day to blow off practice. <laughs> I know, I know, I wouldn't really skip training. But it's so early. I can learn just as well in the afternoon, can't I? <laughs> oh, well, guess we'd better head off before the old man explodes. Maybe we can beat him there this time. So her name is Ajna. Is that at all like Ajuna? Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna change some settings. Battle party formation. Okay, so I'm gonna turn these down a little bit and then turn everything else back up. Okay, dialogue auto advance. Perfect. View map. We don't have a map yet. Abilities control video settings. So, Boy, do you think high. those two heroes were her parents? Uh, yeah, cannon, cannon dude and shield lady. Probably. Because mm -hmm. the. 16 years later, yeah. the headband. Oh, you're still doing volume mixer? Yeah, because I haven't had ac access to this until now. Mm -hmm. Like, straight up, they don't let you mess with the options until you've launched the game and gone through that intro cinematic, which really isn't so bad. Uh, but still, how do I. Oh, apply settings. Why is it there? Eh, whatever. Hmm. Anyway. Kind of important for me to balance these early. This way the music isn't too loud. Uh, let me get the cursor out of there. Uh, maybe oh, it's... a little teapot, and they have the carved elephant. <laughs> Look at those training weights in the background. <laughs> Just, Just rocks. Chiseled rocks. I guess it works. Uh, let's see. Don't know if that has to do with your recording, but it seems really quiet. Yeah, I had to turn it down because the intro was loud. This should be better. This oh is yeah, Bale of Sticks. What are you so happy about? I just love Karen Sticks, you know. What? Why? I always knew you were a weirdo. It's not weird. Just thinking about how people are going to use these sticks in their daily lives. Burning them for kindling, using them to thatch their roofs, turning them into a ti into tiny taper sculptures, <laughs> smacking other people with them. It just really get, uh, lets me know that what I do matters. Huh. I guess that's a cool way of looking at it. Yeah, I'm pretty cool. Now, will you leave me to it, will you? Sure thing. You can carry those sticks. God, I love you sticks. You carry those sticks. I love lugging wood. So this is Utu. You've got a long way to go if you want to get tough like me. I'm pretty sure it's a woman, but that's her voice. W wait, wait. She's she, tough. She has such a scar over her eye that it's just, there's not even, 
Okay, it's all fused together. What are you talking about? I was born with these scars. <laughs> I was a tough baby. <laughs> okay. I didn't say I wanted to... Long way to go. All right. Long. I think... Oh, <gasps> look at that dog. I might have to rebalance things repeatedly. Oh, look at that doggo. It, it has... It's so floofy and it's purple. Oh, I love the yaks. Watch it be one of those dogs that you shave it down and it's like emaciated looking. Yeah, that that's always creepy when you see a furry floofy dog that's been groomed for the summer and they just look like a stick. You're like, what happened to that fat looking fluff monstrosity? I don't know how you handle all that stuff. I'm no good in a fight. Maybe that's why Pen doesn't respect me. Who's Pen? Your wife? She's... She's my dog. Maybe if I tried harder. Pen is the dog? Really? Aw. Um, it'll get better? She won't even look me in the eye. I gotta go. Bye. Training again, Ajna. You know it. Oh, right. I was supposed to be hurrying. <laughs> I hope Inder knows what a good daughter he has. Yeah. Me too. I'd love to have a daughter of my own someday. If you do, don't make her to be... Uh, wait. Don't make her be... Oh, I see. Don't make her be on time for things. Interesting. Don't make her be on time for things. Wait. Oh, it's, it's because she's currently running around late. Yeah, she's late. She's always late to these practice sessions. Oh, that's another two bales. You're always working so hard. Of course. If you want the village to thrive, you gotta give it your all. I can respect that. I just don't really love doing stuff. Someday you'll find something you're passionate about. Like me, lifting things. And that dude, and his weird fixation with sticks. <laughs> yeah, maybe I will. I like the background details. Oh, everything in the background is... It's on a different layer. Yeah, so. but also like the buildings are 3D. Oh, they are 3D, uh, especially the hatched roof and... Yeah, it's super obvious with that hatched roof because the, the lighting is kind of funky on but it. But the characters are all 2D. Look yeah. at those, look at that hog That's over there on the... That's <laughs> It's just been living there. Like, they can't get it off the little island. I I guess it's connected. It's a, yeah, it's a rock. I was going to say, it's like, it's just stuck there perpetually, and that's just normal. Oh, a save bell. Save slots. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. It just wraps around. It's cool. Wait, what's that guy doing across the way with those animals? Uh, it's two kids and their dog. And a guy just pointing at them. Yeah, it looks like the one of the kids has something on a stick mm -hmm. and is like threatening the other one. Actually, one of the kids might have a dog in their arms. Oh. oh well. It's very hard to tell. There's going to be a lot of background details like that. I'm probably not going to notice a lot of them because there's so many. Is this for wall jumping? Oh, I guess I can wall jump. Uh, I wasn't sure if I could wall jump without the axe. But yeah, I remember uh, when the Kickstarter first came out for this, apparently they had a demo paired with it and people went bananas. Like, it was one of the best Kickstarter demos that has been presented to people, I guess? I don't know. Huh. Nobody in sight! Who's slow now, old man? Aw! Oh. Ajna, you're late. Well, uh, you're late! You're... you're late! Enough nonsense, child. What? Well, you smacked me! That's the nonsense! This is training, Ajna. If you'd been paying attention, you wouldn't have gotten hurt. I was paying attention. I just didn't expect a cheap shot from my dad. <sighs> Combat is rarely predictable or fair. Oh yeah? Then take this! Gah! I've told you time and time again. You must never project your attacks. I know. I just get all fired up. 
One of your best and worst qualities. Yeah, I'm a hot-blooded teen. And a very strange one at that. Well, look who raised me. I suppose you have a point. That's right. Score one for Ashna. What you should be scoring is hits against your old dad. Oh, I'll score some hits, all right. With Mom's ex! <laughs> oh, Ashna. Didn't I just warn you about projecting your attacks? Looks like we're going back to basics. No, again? When you have learned to concentrate, when you can actually block my strikes, maybe then we can talk about Mother's Axe. Really? Really. A solid defense is the root of any proper combat strategy. From there, your true potential blossoms. Right, that stuff. Let's do it! Activate Flowering Defense! Oh. Not so fast! Huh. Okay, so, this game is not... This game is not turn-based. It kind of may look like it, but it is real-time. Well, how's that? Not bad, huh? Hmm. I expect better. You expect better? Who says that to their kid? I just want you to improve, Ashna. You'll never reach your full potential if you don't listen. I listen. Ashna, calm down. No, I'm coming all the way up. How do you expect me to talk to you when you're like this? You want to act like you can't talk to me when I'm like this? When do you ever talk to me anyway? Ashna. No, you know what? We're talking about this now. Must we go through this again? Okay, how about an easy one, huh? Where are you from, Dad? How old are you? Why won't you even tell me that? <sighs> Can't answer? Okay, let's increase the difficulty. How did Mom die? I don't even know what she looked like. Your mother and I, we... Now is not the time. Then when is the time? Don't I deserve to know? Listen, child, I am your father. It's not for you to lecture me. I'm the teacher here. If you're my dad, then act like it! Your anger is getting the better of you, Ashna. I'm going home. You may join me when you've cooled off, and only then. Dad! You can't just walk out on this conversation! Nope, he's gonna slide out. And he's gone. Mm -hmm. Great. Who's supposed to be the child here? Ugh, he's so frustrating! But I better go apologize, I guess. Dad, wait up! Fail. Nope, can't. Man, that is a really nicely painted tree. Mm -hmm. uh, like, you really could fool me with some of these assets in the background. Uh, like, you know they're handling 2.5D well when you, like, you stop and you're like, yeah, I guess that's that's 3D. Mm -hmm. <sighs> he sure is fast for an old guy. Uh-oh, is there a fire now? Is that smoke? And it's coming from the village. What's happening? Oh no, Dad could be down there. Smoke from the village. Yep, of course. Like all good RPG protagonists. Yeah, usually they're brought out into the forest for... With by well for one thing or another, and then they return to their village and find it destroyed by the villains. Yep. So I was gonna mention before we go, yeah. uh, I just wanted to talk about the combat system for people that uh, are gonna be on the wall because mm -hmm. everybody kind of wants to understand the game before like we get too far in. Uh, but so it's active time battle but with like kind of fighting game mechanics. So you if probably you notice... just have to watch for the tells of your opponents. Yeah. So the tells are actually really obvious. If you notice, there is like a line pointed directly at Ajna. Uh, telling that, yeah, he was going to come come and attack her. And so, when he came to attack, I'd press X. And, depending on the timing, if I pressed it too too early, I would block the hit and take two damage. Or, if I parried it really well, like I, I blocked within a tighter window, mm -hmm. I'd actually heal. Uh, so, if your reflexes are really good, and you're good at that kind of thing, then you can actually no damage your way through a lot of fights. I remember the first time I, I got access to this game and was playing it at uh, PAX West last year. Or, I guess this this past 
uh, winter? Spring? Uh, it was one of those where it's like the... <laughs> the boss was rolling me until I figured out I could heal on perfect defense, which was kind of rad. Uh, but eventually you get four different party members, and each one is uh, attached to a corresponding button, so A, B, X, Y. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can also, uh, during your turn, you'll have like different orbs that let you attack multiple times. Uh, the mech guy in the, the tutorial or the preview fight, he could only attack once, whereas some of the other characters could attack like two or three times. And so you could do like up, up attacks, down attacks, side attacks, and then there's like a super move and some other things. It's really cool. I've never seen anybody else attempt this before, and I just wanted to gush about that outside of combat, because I'm not going to be able to explain it once I'm in a fight. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be focused. Oh no! Ow. All the... <gasps> Dad! Are you... Oh no, this looks bad. It looks really bad. You... What have you done? So, the old man had a child. I'll allow you to say your goodbyes, but your life is forfeit, heretic. Hashna. Hashna, you're strong. You're the best student I could have asked for. And the best daughter. I know I've been hard on you. I know I haven't been the kindest father, but things are only going to get harder. You have to... Don't worry about all that right now. I just need you to be okay. I'm sorry. You were right. There's so much I need to tell you. Dad, save your strength. I'll beat this guy and we'll get you fixed up. I want to tell you everything. I know I should have from the start. But don't worry, Ashna. Death isn't the end. Gather friends around you. Become stronger. I'm sure you can... You can... Dad! Come back! Save your tears for someone who cares, girl. Your life ends now. For the glory of Lord Ravanovar! You killed my father! You burned our village! As I should have. A village that interferes with Lord Ravanovar's vision does not deserve to stand. The people of Ashwat are strong. We'll rebuild, and your violence will have been for nothing! There will be no one left to rebuild it. There's me. I've trained every day, ever since I could crawl. And if you want to fight, I'm bringing it to you! I like all the sweet butt shots they kept giving us for this night dude. <laughs> and they still do. He's wearing some kind of leather spandex suit. Oop. I'm just gonna keep juggling this man. Give up while you can, girl. All those who oppose Lord Ravanovar's perfect world will perish by my hand. I so swear it. Burning innocent people's homes? That's your idea of a perfect world? <gasps> Does he have the clover symbol on his pauldron? I don't know. I haven't looked. I've mostly been staring at his ass. A village girl like you couldn't possibly understand. This is part of a larger plan. Well, your plan is evil, and I'm stopping it right now. Yeah, it is. It is Clover, I think. I think Lord Ravanavar, is that what his name is? Ravanavar was probably the one with the turban in front of the giant seed oh, god. Oh, yeah. 100%. God thing at the very beginning. So you've been building up a blue meter. What is that in particular? Uh, what? Your the, attack? The little sphere? Mm -hmm. That's just the ATP gauge. <laughs> Not so big now that you're fighting one-on-one, -on -one, are you? You haven't bested me yet, girl. Ah! Uh! What? And we just absorbed him. <laughs> Witch! With what magic have you imprisoned me? Imprisoned? Come on and show yourself, coward! You're the coward, spiriting me away with your village magic! Shut up! That makes no sense! And you're so loud, it sounds like you're screaming directly into my mind! <coughs> well, I'll find you! I just gotta concentrate.
The inner realm. Hmm. What is this place? I'm... inside myself? I... Shut up! But how? <laughs> and why are you here? That's what I'd like to know. Well, this doesn't change anything. I'm still gonna destroy you! Try it. What? My fists won't connect! I'll bury you! Wherever this is, if I can't kill you, I'm leaving you here. Goodbye. But I... I told you to shut up! I... I'm back. Poor Ashwat, my village. Everyone. What will we do? What should I do? I guess... I guess I have to bury Dad. Father, I'm so sorry I wasn't with you. Maybe I could have helped. Maybe you wouldn't have had to die. Please know that no matter how tough things were between us, I loved you anyway. I'm gonna make you proud. I'll get stronger. I'll find out what it is you wanted me to become. Believe that. Your father fought bravely. As a warrior, I recognize... You do not get to talk about him, ever! We're gonna find this Ravanavar of yours now. He'll answer for what he's done here. And you can either help me get to him, or you can rot in there. Rebuilding the village will have to wait. Oh, I'll bring you to him. As a trophy. We'll see who makes a trophy of who. We're following your army's trail till we find him. I would not want the man who murdered my father inside my head and capable of talking to me at any moment. Oh, don't worry about saving over the same slot. Each slot holds up to 200 save games. Hell yeah! Oh. I love when games give me 200 save slots to just go should have paid attention! Is that supposed to be a bowl of rice or something that uh, has little chopstick oh, ears? So you can come uh, out after all. Under certain conditions, it seems. I'd rather not die stuck in your head, so I propose a truce until I can return to Lord Ravanovar. Ah, this is so frustrating! I can't get rid of you, I can't kill you, and now you can come and go out of my brain as you please! Trust me, if I could leave, I would. Okay. Both of them sound awfully familiar. Uh, I mean, do you have your phone next to you? Yeah, I They do. should have the whole uh, voice actor listing already. Mm -hmm. Anyway, how to play Dar. Down attack, enhancing attacks. Dar can store up to 12 charges of Earth and Fury, which enhances other attacks. Points. Okay, so to kind of explain what's going on here, uh, combat-wise, uh, the little spheres beneath the character is effectively their AP. As we get further in the game, they will get more. <laughs> so to answer Shell's thing about Wander's favorite person, uh, there was a period of... There's a period of time around... Not necessarily favorite, No, but... so, like, I actually... I don't mind the guy at all, but around when Persona 5 came out, there were several games specifically voice acted by Matt Mercer. And there had been even before, because I remember some of his early roles being Leon S. Kennedy and such. Yeah, but it was, it was several Resident games Evil. in a very short period of time go. that I specifically was, like, hearing Matt Mercer... I'll bury uh, you. Specifically, like, voice acting stuff. Guild Wars 2 Male Norn. Yeah, and so, couple like... other things. Imagine if, for a several-week period, or a several-month period, every single day you heard, like, a man... a certain man's voice. <laughs> over and over and over again. You even had dreams about him voice I had weird things. dreams that, like, I was interacting with him. Well, I've <laughs> lost their trail. Where do we go now, murderer? My name is Dar. Use it. And I know my troops. They'll stick to the main paths, and you're no match for them on your own. 
If you mean to get to Lord Ravonavar, you should cut a path through the jungle. I'd rather not let you group up with your buddies again anyway, so... Jungle it is. Hold up to view the map. And there's more stuff that I'm sure I've missed. I don't know if there's exploration or if there's any... That looks like something you could crouch under, yeah. There we go. There we go. God, I love the animation for attacks in this game. They look really cool. Ah, uh, that might be something you have to open up with an ability. Let's see, she has a slight Indian accent. This game is at least partially based on certain Indian myths. <laughs> it, look, it really does look like it. They've mentioned chakras and sutra and yes, yeah. so there's more than just Indian myth. Ajna and she had a pet named Roti. It just it does really seem. And there's there's the jungle. Not quite. There's I believe there's going to be a tiger girl I'll later on you. and such. So yeah. Yeah, there's a girl that wears a tiger skin, a girl that, like, has, uh, a mushroom, uh, multiple mushrooms that's kind of like an alchemist. There's, like, a pirate lady, uh, there's, there's so many characters. I know there's an archer guy. Um, so, it's one of those where, like, But it looks I like there's also a great disparity between oh, the city. there's someone out here. And the jungle. Speaking hey, of tiger girl. are you okay? You look... Not okay. <sighs> Look at my stupid house. Did soldiers do this? They might have. All I know, I move all the way out here to the middle of nowhere to get away from all the noise, and then here come these idiots, carrying on and taking my stuff. So I had to quiet them down, make them crispy, crisp them up real good. <laughs> Where are they? They're inside what's left of my house. Do you want to see? No thanks. I've been dealing with those guys all day too. Poor thing. Well, I guess that's it for me. Now my house is gone. So I'm just gonna wait here to get eaten by a Vitala or whatever. What? Why? Maybe you can come with us. I'm trying to find my dad's murderous boss. Us? But there's only one of you. Oh, well, the guy who murdered my father is living in my head right now. It's kind of a complicated situation. You are definitely gonna get eaten by Vitala. What's a Vitala anyway? Keep hanging around here and you'll find out. You know, maybe we should get going after all. My house leaked anyway. So you're coming with us? Great! My name is Ashna. Maybe if you help us, we can... Again? Where'd I go? Oh, where'd you go? There's a man in here who looks extremely annoying. Yeah, that's my dad's murderer. I don't know what his name is. I have told you, my name is Dar. I am the newly appointed lieutenant to the great Navar army, unifier of the- Ajna, I hate him. Uh... <sighs> Can't even get a good fire going in here. Were you trying to set him on fire? Maybe a little. Well, thanks for trying. So, do I just live in your head now? I guess. I don't really know how this works yet, but I seem to be... absorbing people? Hmm. That's gross. My name is Rosmi, and my tiger friend here is Bomb. He used to have bones, but now he doesn't. I keep his soul in my lantern, and he makes things... crispy. Nice to meet you, Razmi. It's good to have some actual company. I object to- Shut, Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> if I must. I knew I placed it. Uh, he's voiced by the guy that voices Lorenz. Mm. You can sort of hear the Lorenz in there. So Razmi has healing, but uh, she can also do like debuffs and she gets some attacks. Like as we go along, I know the characters get different like moves. Okay, I'm going to keep futzing with the audio until I'm happy. I wouldn't be surprised happy. if a number of the cast members aren't also from Fire Emblem. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I 
I forgot, I do actually have to, to say this at least a couple of times, but uh, thank you to 505 Games for sending me this. Uh, they have been mostly extremely helpful in like facilitating, facilitating me getting access to this game. Uh, specifically, like, seeking me out very actively to... to have a look-see at PAX, and then sending me all sorts of information, um... There we go. All sorts of information... along the way, uh... I want to work on the better AWEs, but I gotta fig figure out what the good ones are. It seems like he summons stone. Yep, he's earth themed. Oh. She makes the same chakra sound the home. There we go. Also, if you notice, Razmi is much slower than the other ones. Mm -hmm. Being a caster, it makes sense. Yep. Stronger? Maybe. Let's see. Uh, abilities. There we go. Ender's lesson. Left bumper a moment before getting hit, then press X. Oh. That's cool. That'll be fun. I like the real-time combo mechanic. Yeah, it's very fighting gamey, and it fits so well with this kind of game. Ooh, I this looks like a new pretty area. Uh-huh. And yet... What? My oh. mother's axe! I wanted this my entire life. What a terrible way to get it. More importantly, what happened to this soldier? What was he doing this far from the village? Looting and pillaging, obviously. But my soldiers wouldn't do that. We had a mission. Don't be so dense. He stole my mother's axe and then he got killed. It's as simple as that. And whatever killed him is probably still out there. So we'd better make tracks. The axe. You've always wanted to use this. But yeah, there's the oh. goddess motif with the many arms. Yep. We should probably go back to the... Oh, uh, wait, look. She has the, the the club around her head. The three circles. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we can't get through that one. But I'm pretty sure... Oh, won't let me go back. All right. Well, at some point, we get the ability to backtrack. Oh, you can't can get... slide through that other area? Nah, can't. There's a slight gap. That's interesting. All of these creatures... They're all blue with sticks and bowls. Well, he's still got the bowl I know. for his underpants. Oh, God, this is the natural conclusion of the weird horror. Right, the little rice balls. It's over. The chopsticks sticking out for eyes are just... Oh. I don't... Yeah, like I, I don't like the look of them because they're deeply unsettling. Mm -hmm. But... Okay, right. This to look at the map. Let's see, so we have a couple of gaps. Oh, interesting. Uh, Don't yeah. really have a means to grab onto the ledge and... Uh, well, there's different movement tech in this game uh, that each character brings along with them. Mm -hmm. And... Try harder. And so... Ajna's specifically is to stick her axe in the wall. And I wasn't sure if we had access to that yet. But no. So we have to get that later. Somehow. Well, okay. well you slash through that. Uh -oh. oh. That's a big boy. And as far as I know, uh positioning okay. Left bumper to block with your entire party. I actually didn't know that one. That would have been helpful. Please get out of your tutorial. Blocking consumes Idhi over time, but successfully blocking an attack will increase it. 
Annoying. And I think it still has perfect block rules attached. So if you notice, they all just healed there instead of taking damage. It's gonna take some serious doing to actually like get used to timing that. But it's absolutely worth it if you want to like do really, really well. My father once told me something terrible lives in these ruins. Something worse than the Bellu. I guess that's what killed your friend back there. He was my subordinate, not my friend. Though I do feel for him. Feelings, huh? First time for everything, I guess. <laughs> Oop. Okay, so... Let's actually go back. Because there was that other path. That I missed. Uh... I find it odd that they specifically targeted that village unless they knew her the father, father was one of the participants well, remember, in the remember, he final. mentioned that the father had had a daughter. Mm -hmm. Which, like, I mean, kind of no duh, but... Get back here, you weird scutterbug. Okay, so it looks like this is a dead end for the time being. Not unless you have a means to cleave through the orange magic or orange fields. Now, if you're really adept at things, you can actually do a multi-perfect block. Ow. But timing that is a small nightmare. I'm going to have trouble even getting one perfect block in a lot of these. Mm -hmm. Let's see. But no, they probably went to the village specifically because of Ajna's father. I think everybody else is just collateral. Mm -hmm. And now that we know that there's some religious iconography alongside that thing they were battling at the beginning, it's possible that's why there was the whole heretic situation. Oh, what is... What wow. is she supposed to be? Uh, well, Ratna. you know how some people put pots on their head and can walk around with, like, perfect balance? <laughs> uh, she comes from a long line of those people that have developed a sort of natural she reason to, uh, and ability to grasp pots with their heads. What's that one race from Dragon Ball Z where they're all pink? She looks very uh, similar oh, to Oh, um, Majin Buu. Or Majins. Majins, I guess. Yeah. Young woman... I sense a curious energy within you. The thanks? It's not a compliment, Ajna. It could be. My intention is neither to compliment nor offend, only to state what is true. Though, I have made observing them my life's work. Never have I seen a ring cell. A ring cell, would that be a human, perhaps? Maybe. A ring cell respond in such a manner. Ring cell? Are you talking about this glowing stone? Or stone? I don't really know how to do her accent, unfortunately. I'll just have to make her spunky or something. I am. It was 16 years ago when they first appeared in this world. I have studied them continuously since that day. With my partner, Mani. Hello. So, oh, are you guys, like, together? I am a monk. Oh. She is an... Oh. Oh, that's him. Yeah, yeah. She is a nun. So... We are not. So, she's saying we are not together as <laughs> partners or something. Huh. And you studied these rocks. The ring cells, yes. Its mysteries have not been fully revealed to us, but it is clear that this one calls to you. I believe that you should take it. It will surely enhance your strength. Eat it, Ajna. She wants you to eat it. Eat it? It's a stone. It'll make you tough. Just do it, Ajna. Don't be lame. Do I have to eat it. 
You do. You need not consume the ring salve. Damn. If I am correct, its power will su simply fill the vessel of your soul. Oh, that is simple. Whoa! Hey, I feel good. It is as I suspected. The ring cell has unlocked the power that was lying dormant within you, channeling the ET stored up during your battles. The more ring cells you can acquire, the greater your capacity to fight. I'm into that. What do I do? The ring cells were scattered across the world 16 years ago. Oddly enough, that is exactly how old you are. If you can find a sufficient number, I should be able to attune them to your offensive energies and increase your strength. Mani has been studying their defensive capabilities and can help you in that regard. But not until you're ready, which you're currently not. Indeed. The path will not be easy. The more powerful you become, the more ring cells will be required. I've got to get stronger. I'll do whatever it takes. At your current strength, I should be able to regain, uh, to again increase your offensive capabilities if you bring me five additional ring cells. Nice. That's not too many. Curious. I sense a realm within you. You are full of mysteries. If you'll have us. We will travel with you there, in order to learn the secret of the ring cells. Hop on in! I and I'll find all the ring cells you can handle. I look forward to it. As do I. Zwoop! She's just gonna collect a whole village in there, isn't she? Uh, it's getting too crowded in here, Ajna. You need to stop absorbing people. You're a monster. I am not. I'm regular. Monster. Monster. <laughs>